Last time didn't go the way you wanted it to. I know it was a very frustrating performance for you. You just came in and said you feel great. You know, what is the difference this time out for you in terms of your your preparation, weight cutting, et cetera? Uh, the, well, for, for one, the weight cut was great, you know, really smooth. We got it all done last night. Feels good to wake up on weight, especially with the early start time. You know, I didn't want to, didn't want to spend more time cutting weight today and have that kind of, that'll kind of snowball into the early start time tomorrow. So I knocked it out last night. I feel good. You know, in that last fight, it wasn't going that bad, you know, yeah. it, until it was going good until it went bad, yeah. you know, but it was just one small tactical error. And, uh, you know, you learn from your losses in the sport. And, you know, I learned a very valuable lesson in that fight and that lesson will be in play when it comes into this fight with Sean Brady, because I know I'm fighting a very talented grappler. So I know I, I got to do, you know, it, it's that day one fundamental that I violated. The position before submission is what cost me the fight against Vicente. We could be having a very different conversation right now, but uh, I'm really excited for this fight. I feel great. And uh, it's like I'm fighting in my uh, my office space, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, so it's great. You kind of are. You kind of are. Yeah, and I did the trifecta this year. I did Abu Dhabi in January. I did a packed arena in August, and now I'm at the Apex, so... It's all three Best of all the worlds. Uh, you know, you could have probably taken a different opponent this time, but you chose Sean Brady, undefeated. Why him? Why now? Uh, you know, I drew a little bit of inspiration from my man, Anthony Smith. You know, he uh, when, you know, he had a couple hiccups, and after the Rackage fight, he just was like, I'll take all comers. I don't care. I'll fight the young guys. I'll fight the Jimmy Crutes. I'll fight the up-and-comers and work his way back into title contention and look at what it did for him. Um, it's not that I picked Sean Brady. They just called me and said, hey, do you want, do you want to have this fight in November? I said, absolutely, let's go. It, it's uh, The more fights you win in the UFC, it gets a little bit political. You know, you kind of like, you gotta, the, you're getting the matchups that make sense and things of that sort. And, you know, when you kind of hit rock bottom on a loss, it's like, okay, I'll take all comers. And so when they called me with Sean Brady, um, I really liked the challenge in the matchup because um, all the lessons that I learned from the Vicente Luque fight, like they come into play for this one. So I can kind of kill two birds with one stone. I go out there, I beat Sean Brady, and then I can kind of take a little bit of the sting off from that loss from Vicente. So right the wrong. Right the wrong, yeah. exactly. Um, when you when you look at Sean Brady, you know, he's he says, you know, I'm gonna use my size, my stature. I'm a shorter guy, I fought taller guys. Uh, do you buy into any of that? Do you what do you think of him? Use put on your analyst hat. I always love when we have a fighter who works at the desk. How do you break this one down? Well, I can say the same thing about him. Yeah. I like fighting short guys. You know, I, I do pretty well against shorter guys. Uh, you know, he's a, he's a technical grappler. He's got very good submission skills, and he's he's a well-rounded fighter. Um, and while I say he has good submission skills, I don't think they're like over the top excellent. You know, I don't think he's a specialist, but he is really dang good. Um, I really like the matchup, and I've worked the desk for a few of his fights. So when Sean Shelby calls me, I keep all my notes for all my desk shows on my phone. So right when Sean called me with the matchup, I pull out my phone. I'm like, okay, okay, okay. I know what I got to do. So uh, it made it made the film yeah. the film study pretty easy, you know. So I like the matchup. I'm excited. He's a good kid. Uh, poor Paul Felder's at home, you know, just like, hey, he sent me a text this morning and was like, what did he say? He said, just I hope you guys can walk out of there on your own two feet, not too beat up. But uh, him, me and Sean said the same thing. No, no promises with that. That one you know we're both gonna do what we got to do to win and i truly believe i'm gonna get my hand raised thanks for watching espn on youtube for live streaming sports and premium content subscribe to espn plus